Hey, so your name's Tati back again with another video. Today's video, we will be doing a reaction video to The Flash Season 8, Episode 6. Okay, I'm giving y'all this short little cute little video, girl, okay, before the episode come out today at 8 p.m. Pacific time. That's my time. All right, so let's get right into it. Click. Uh, you... Oh, my God. We only two seconds in. I already had to pause. Okay, so do Iris look the same? No, she does not. <laughs> I don't want nobody to say like, oh, yes, black don't crack, but does she look the same? Does she look season one Iris? No, she does not. Actually, she looks better, period. She looks better than season one Iris, period. She's giving very season five. She's giving very season five Iris, and we're on season eight. So that goes to show you that the bitch is always going to be bad, period. Now let's look at Eddie. Give my dissertation, right? Detective oh, Playboy. girl, shut up. But okay, Eddie looks five years past okay you know what look let me say this eddie i've never been attracted to eddie rick Kosnick, on the other hand mr zimbabwe's he's fine as hell okay especially when he had that long hair and that beard oh girl you couldn't tell that boy nothing he was fine as hell but eddie i've never ever not ever not once ever found him attractive he's annoying in my book but rick <clears throat> period he blushing and flustered and she blushing and flustered. But in my mind, that's not how the scene went. In my mind, they first meeting was definitely him finding her attractive and then instantly trying to ask her out and she say no for the first time. Like, did anybody else think that back in season one? Because I felt like he tried to pursue her multiple times and then she finally said yes because she needed to get Barry off of her mind. But she over here smiling and shit as if her best friend ain't in no goddamn coma. Like, it just don't make no sense to me at all. Like, Joe and Iris both was acting like Barry ain't no coma, just having a jolly good time at work. <laughs> um, uh, well, do you have a, a name, Detective? Do he? Oh my God, girl, stand up. Oh, she already is. A stand. She already standing up. Oh my God. Like, can we, like, what's, could you have a name to text? As if she didn't know his real name. As if she couldn't, as if, as if Barry didn't tell her the goddamn name back in season one, episode one. And she's like, ooh, that's Detective Pretty Boy? He was like, yeah, Eddie Thon. He's a new transfer from Coast City. Like, he's a transfer from Keystone. Started a few weeks ago. Eddie Thon. Oh, that's Detective Pretty Boy. Girl! Oh my God, like, that's not how the scene was supposed to go. In my, in my humble opinion, this how the scene was supposed to happen. Joe was supposed to mention his daughter, Iris, by name, do doom, 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 doom. And instead of Bart and Nora going to Jettis to get coffee and whatever, whatever for his team and stuff, 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 Eddie... And Eddie was the one who went and go get the coffee and snacks and shit for Joe because he's trying to impress Joe. Per, and he ended up seeing Iris and he's like, oh my God, no, 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 and flirting this shit. And then he was like, oh, I'll let's take you out. And she said, no. Because she depressed and sad. In this whole entire episode, this whole entire flashback episode, I didn't see not an inkling of sadness or, uh, or, or madness from Iris or Joe. It don't make no, that's not how it went. In my mind, Eddie has always pursued Iris. It ain't never been the other way around. Yeah, the bitch can be flustered and shit, but girl, um, you're a bad bitch. Don't do that. I don't like it. And surprisingly, Cecile was not annoying in this episode. Oh, her shoes is cute. She was not annoying in this episode. Maybe because she didn't get a lot of screen time. <laughs> Yeah, but she was not annoying. I know a lot of people peeped some stuff. I know a lot of people peeped some stuff in the last scene when they went to Paris. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Catch it. Uh, but yeah, she wasn't annoying. She was. She actually wasn't bad. She wasn't. <sighs> Yeah, because the girl said she hate all men and stuff like that. Another thing that didn't make sense is Joe trying to pursue Cecile when Barry's in a coma. Like, it just, your son is in a coma and you trying to fucking pursue 411. Like, it just, like, what? Like, what? like Francine haven't even come back yet. Like, you have not even, like, grieved that relationship fully. Like, you, ha you literally have your wedding band still on. Like, 
what the fuck? Don't make stuff. Like, and I just feel like Eric just don't remember stuff on purpose. Like, he act like, mind you, yes, he wasn't there from season one through three. But he just act like he never watched the show. He don't give a fuck about watching the previous episodes. And he just write whatever he want to write. And he could blame it on crisis. Like, oh, we're going to blame it on crisis. <laughs> With his fucking lying ass. Like, I just, I just don't understand it. Like, Joe was not looking at no cooch. Like, Joe was not trying to pursue no cooch. Like, at all. It's just stupid. Damn, how long this scene is? Let's skip, because I don't feel like watching this fucking shit. Damn, they just talking. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Mm-mm, I ain't finna watch it. Pause. I ain't, y'all watch it to damn selves. Yeah, this is gonna be a short little video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and out.